Assalamu alaikum, everybody. I appreciate the, appreciate the invitation to run for this position. For those of you, as Dr. Saad said, my name is Muhammad Osman. I'm running for the Board of Trustees position at Isaac. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best of you is the one who serves the community. And, and I hope I would do my job to the best of my ability, inshallah. And, and I want to thank the, the volunteers and, and, the, and the members of the society for taking care of Isaac the past two decades. I know it has not been an easy job. And, and I'm grateful to the vision of the founders of Isaac and honored to be part of it. And I also believe that it is my duty to serve on the board because of my experience and past involvement. I have been in Northeast Ohio since 1986, and I have seen firsthand how the community has grown intellectually and spiritually while adding many members from different backgrounds. I point to Isaac as being the reason that we have a thriving Muslim activism in Northeast Ohio and why so many of our kids are blessed to practice their faith in a non-Muslim nation. However, there is still so much work to be done. The responsibilities of the board, as Brother Fahim just said, a board of trustees include managing and protecting the assets of the society, as well as to appropriate funds and community donations while approving budgets. As a businessman for over 30 years, I have, I believe that I can add great value in such operations. In my line of business, I humbly, humbly can state that there has not been too many problems that I have not dealt with economically, professionally, or legally. I am ready and willing to put my experience and background to benefit the society. I want to conclude by saying that as older members of the community, our faith is strong and firm, especially those who came from overseas. It is the fear that for the kids and the grandkids who are born and grow up in this country that we need to protect. And, and I believe that every child and the grandchild of this community is my kid and I feel responsible for. And we ask the Almighty to help us all as older generation to help preserve the faith of our kids. A masjid is a place where people can socialize, learn, and benefit from one another. Let this be clear for all. Islam is here to stay. And it is our duty to make it a thriving part of our nation. Whether I win or lose, I am always honored to be able to share my thoughts and vision for the community. Unity is the only way forward and we cannot let any divisions affect the essential path ahead. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair, Brother Muhammad. Uh, inshallah, uh, we will ask Brother Mas'ud Rana to share his uh, three-minute presentation with us. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I'm Masood Rana. Uh, Brother Saad, I will try to give you back one minute from my time. Uh, I've been a member of ISAC community for about 20 years now. I have an undergrad in accounting and an MBA in finance. I currently work for SUMA as uh, one of their internal auditors. In the past, I have served ISAC in various official and unofficial capacities. Uh, namely, I was the first full-time administrative director for ISAC. Um, I've been on the board of trustees before, just like the position I'm nominated for now. I have been a finance director on the board of directors, and most recently, um, the chair of Sunday School. So alhamdulillah, uh, I've been, I've served in various capacities, which gives me a 
wider scope of, of how the nuts and bolts work uh, for the society. It's, uh, it's my honor and pleasure to be nominated to the BOT again. And uh, to Brother Usman's point, I, I see myself as a bridge between the youth and the elders in this community. I know you're looking at my beard and uh, uh, questioning that statement, but uh, I am much younger at heart. Um, and I look forward to upholding the mission of ISAC and serving alongside a proven and dedicated team of leaders whom I've seen volunteer so much of their time for the sake of the society and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan again for uh, giving me this opportunity. Okay. Jazakumullah khair, Brother Mas'ud. Uh, now, all board of director terms are for two years, except for the women's director position, which is for one year, as it remained vacant during this year. We have two nominees for the president position, Brother Fahim Sheikh and Brother Dr. Ihsan Al-Haq. According to the bylaws, the president shall be the spokesperson of the society, shall be responsible for the general management of all the activities of the society, including maintenance of facilities, according to the provisions of the constitution, shall call the general assembly and board of directors meetings as required by the constitution, shall have the authority to sign checks on behalf of the society, and shall be a member of but cannot become the chairperson of the board of trustees. Uh, inshallah, I will ask Brother Fahim to please share a few minutes of presentation with the ISAC members. Thank you, Dr. Saad. Um, I want to start by um, expressing my deepest gratitude to our founders, elders, and patrons for putting their blood, uh, sweat, and tears in, uh, into building this center and nurturing it through the, the thick and thin. I wanna thank all leadership since ISAC's inception for their stewardship. I wanna thank our staff and our volunteers for their extraordinary dedication, um, our achievements, our fruits of their labor. I wanna congratulate um, all of the nominees who have stepped forward to serve on the boards. Now you've, you've heard uh, election speeches from me before, so I wanna save you the trouble of sitting through another one. Um, I will just make um, a handful of some quick points. Uh, when you're an incumbent, uh, you have a record to defend. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, ISAC has come a long way. And we're very proud of our record and the great strides we've made in several areas. Uh, you're well aware of our achievements, so I won't list them. Our success is a direct result of all of your collective efforts. You're only um, as good as your team, and I'm, I'm blessed, uh, alhamdulillah, to have an amazing team, so, so thank you. Um, now, as concerned members, uh, patrons, founders of the community were obviously vested in ISAC's success. You know, there's a saying in, uh, in Urdu, which is uh, loosely translated as, uh, Enjoy the mangoes, don't count the seeds. 
uh, instead of counting who is serving how many terms, what should really matter to us is whether or not ISAC is being served well, whether it's on a positive trajectory. And the answer to that is yes, it is. It is run like a well-oiled machine. We're, uh, alhamdulillah, financially whole. We're spending less, we're, we've increased volunteerism. We've built a community's trust in the leadership. We've hired good staff. We've expanded our programs and services. We've established processes that ensure smooth operation. Uh, we've responded to uh, the pandemic uh, uh, reasonably. So uh, leadership and leading a diverse community isn't, uh, isn't easy. It is uh, simply not just about passion, uh, dedication, and time commitment. Uh, one has to really have it in him. The leadership philosophy matters, uh, the style matters, the substance matters, uh, the approach matters, personality matters. And serving in this role uh, always has humbled me with the thought that there is still a, a lot that I don't know and a lot that still needs to get done. I often find myself and my board members know this in a position where I may not have all the answers. I don't always have the brightest ideas, but I value and I incorporate other ideas and opinions. Even, even if they differ from my own, I know who to count on and how to get the job done. A leader should encourage a diversity of thought and surround himself with people that are intelligent and competent, not yes men uh, putting competence of someone over their loyalty to him. And running a, an organization is a collaborative effort. A leader needs to be open-minded and consensus driven. He needs to be able to demonstrate intellectual curiosity and willingness, willingness to learn and grow. And again, for those who have not served uh, in this role, I'll tell you that there is nothing glamorous about the position of the president. It is a huge moral responsibility and a manner. We serve for uh, no other reason but to seek Allah's pleasure. It is a, a significant commitment of time. And when you take it, do it right. Do it with uh, ihsan, do it with excellence. If anyone thinks that uh, people want to do this because they crave some sort of power, then nothing could be further from the truth. First, it is a voluntary position. Second, those that serve with you don't have their livelihood dependent on their roles. Your peers are not beholden to you. One can only lead with moral authority, and in the absence of which, con conflicts erupt and boards become dysfunctional. So servant leadership is about serving others not to be served. The person at the helm is the most accountable, something that should not and cannot be taken lightly. Now we need to know our individual strengths and see where we can make the greatest impact. If someone has certain strengths and we're able to use those strengths in the most effective way possible and they're willing to continue to serve, that's all that should really matter. In, in my case, I see being in this role as more of a natural fit for me. And quite frankly, doing this for some time now, this has become second nature to me. So each of us need to ask ourselves, what is that skill set? What is that unique strength that we can offer? If an individual who has a proven track record is willing to commit the time to continue serving in that capacity, we should welcome and we should applaud that commitment. Now, as far as what uh, can be achieved, I, I won't make any big promises. I believe in in, in, in setting achievable and measurable goals and acknowledging small successes, which is evident from our track record. However, if you have an idea that you think can benefit the community, then we are all ears. We're, we're willing to sit down with you and hear your ideas. Now, inshallah, given the opportunity, I'd like us to continue to build on the progress made on our current goals and priorities for ISAC which are to continue to expand community outreach, work on a leadership transition plan, build human capital and expand the volunteer pool, continue to nurture positivity, enhance our educational programs, 
enable and empower our staff and our directors, improve, continue to improve the financial processes, increase our donor base, and work on a more structured youth program. And I'll finish with this. None of us are indispensable. Uh, leaderships will change, but the work of the House of Allah will always carry on. We will get the leader, leaders we deserve. Uh, this is not about winning and losing. I've said this before. Uh, I'm confident uh, that both uh, my friend, Dr. Ehsan, and I will continue to serve our beloved community, regardless of the outcome. If he is elected, I'll be happy to serve with him. And if the community chooses me, I will continue to engage him in various initiatives and capacities as I have in the past. I want to finish by thanking you all. It's truly an honor uh, serving this wonderful community. It's been an incredible journey so far where I've met and continue to meet some of the most amazing people. Uh, their sincerity uh, brings me to tears and their company helps me renew my own intentions. You've touched my soul and you've made me a better person. In return, for whatever small contributions I've made, you've given me a lot more, your choice, your love, and your trust. And for that, I'm forever indebted. Jazakumullah khairan, barakallahu feekum, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakallah khair, brother Fahim. Uh, next, we have um, brother Dr. Ahsan al-Haq. Uh, please, uh, Dr. Ahsan, uh, share with us a uh, few minutes uh, of your uh, time uh, pre presenting to the group, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, you just heard Brother uh, Fahim. Can you still see me? Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. okay. The year 2020 has been uh, quite tough for the entire community, not just the Muslim community, but with COVID-19, there have been a lot of community distress. There are economic and social issues that have affected our community. Uh, there are spiritual dif uh, difficulties. We've had multiple issues that we had to deal with. I've been in the community for since 1984, and I have worked in the development of the community. We've seen it grow from Kent to Akron Masjid to where we are today. And I have always uh, participated in this uh, effort as a worker and never been looking for a position of uh, leadership or responsibility that a community did not uh, deem fit for me. Over the past few years, we've had issues uh, that have affected us, that have confronted us, and the groups, both the board of directors and the board of trustees have worked together. Uh, in, in the early 20s, when we first started, we had a long range planning committee. We worked on developing the school. We worked on collecting funds to uh, have enough in reserve so that as our needs increased, we would have the resources available to uh, provide the financial background for that. Uh, I remember uh, contacting people all over the state and all over the states to uh, build that financial background, that financial basis which allowed us to uh, 
build the addition to the society, allowed us to buy the cemetery, allowed us to have the full-time imam, allowed us to have the full-time FIA, allowed us to have the uh, funeral services. And we used up all of our savings that were there, but we still kept some in the investment uh, uh, funds. And mashallah, we still have enough to pay the society's operating expenses for up to two years. But what we have not done is we have not, uh, along the way, we also absorbed refugees from Iraq. We uh, absorbed refugees from Burma, the Uzbek community, the Syrians. We also started uh, the Al Jazeera Institute. We also developed youth programs. Those were all done because we had the funds and we had the vision and we had uh, the people who were uh, dedicated enough and vested enough to provide uh, those uh, resources. At this time, uh, the NAIR funds are all used up. The investment money that was there uh, was supposed to end by the time we used, uh, we built up all the uh, uh, addition, but Alhamdulillah, we have about 500,000 still there. We have not replenished our savings. So the, the resources that we had, if we have to do anything more, we don't have those resources at this time. We do not have funds to develop future services at this time. Uh, the parking lot needs to be done. The structural repairs are needed. We do not have those resources. In the past four years, five years, we have not done anything to replenish those. The endowment is 20 years old. It has not reached its goal. The hope was that by this time, we would have a five million in the endowment and we would uh, be able to fulfill the operating expenses of the masjid from the uh, income that we will get from the endowment. We have not done that. Over the past four years, we've had a rift in the community and uh, the current leadership has not been able to uh, bridge that rift. Uh, if you remember uh, two years ago, uh, there were issues with the uh, in the community and I had made that point at that time also that we do need to bring the community together. We used to have about six big donors that would give $100,000 a year. We used to have about 15 to 20 people who would give uh, anywhere twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year for the support of the masjid. Now we are down to two big donors and about six to seven donors that give that kind of money. There are people in the community that are able to do it but are not doing it because they uh, don't feel uh, as part of the community or they are uh, removed from the community for one reason or another. And the current leadership has not made enough efforts to bring that uh, portion of the community back into the fold. There are new professionals in the community. There are about 40 new docs in the community. They don't feel uh, attached to the society. There are new businesses. They, are, they have not gotten cultivated into the community. This is an effort that needs to be there and we need to heal the rift. Some of the old members are not engaged anymore. The newer members get discouraged when they hear that there's a rift. And the bylaws were uh, revised in 2014, given to the board of directors in 2015. The board of trustees approved them in 2015. They have not seen the general body meeting so far. 
the women services are wanting the directorship has gone empty the youth engagement needs improved we need to redouble our efforts to heal the rift we need to bring the new members the businesses the new arrivals we need for them to belong they need to feel that they are welcome and they belong and we need to bring financial stability at this time the five hundred thousand dollars that we have in the investment account are just sufficient to uh, run our operating expenses and that is it the stuff that we're going to need to do for uh, the uh, parking lot and for the uh, drainage system uh, that is not going to be enough we have to uh, bring financial stability to the society we need to do the uh, community reconciliation we need to rebuild our loan that we took from ourselves from our uh, uh, investment account and we need to rebuild our uh, uh, endowment account so that we can work and we can we do not rely on a yearly donations for operating expenses the yearly donations will be for project development we can have a project go to the community and ask them to buy in for that project and uh, that would be funded that way but we will not have to worry about the operating expenses if we get our endowment to where it needs to be so those are some of the things uh, that i will uh, put on my agenda i have a track record of uh, 35 years of building consensus and developing not one but two masajid i was instrumental in getting the uh, kent masjid uh, when we first bought it and uh, renovated it i was instrumental in getting the akron masjid going and i was instrumental in getting the uh, this center going and i was not the only one i had a giants with me and they are still there some of them have uh, moved on uh, as part of uh, their life but there are still people in our community uh, that are at this time not participating because they feel neglected alienated and i think i can bring them together and we will and we have worked as a group nothing was done by one person it is a community effort made by all of us not by one person so uh, i i am not looking for a position i am here to serve and uh, as the uh, chair of the uh, by the election committee can uh, vouch i have never asked for one position I have said that I am at the service of the community in any position, any role the community wants me to serve. Jazakallah khairan. Thank you. Jazakallah khair, Brother Hassan. Um, next, we have uh, one nominee for Director of Social Activities position. That's uh, Brother uh, Nodir John. Uh, the Director of Social Activities shall be responsible for organizing all social activities of the society. Ramadan iftars, Eid events, interfaith dinners, and community gatherings. Um, Brother uh, Nodirjan, please share your three-minute presentation with the ISAC members. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, I appreciate for this nomination. I say thank you, all of you dear brothers and sisters. So my background, I moved to States in 2012. Since 2012, I am member of the ISA community. I'm proud to be one of them. Uh, so my position is 
as a social director, uh, I would do the same as others like did before me, like brother Valid and before the Valid other brothers. I can't remember the names. Uh, I learned a lot from them. Inshallah, I will continue learn from them and I will try to do my best uh, in this community, inshallah. As other brothers know me, I joined a safety team last two years and I felt from the inside the masjid how it works and how the responsibility lay down uh, board member and the staff and volunteers. And I would say Jazakallah Hayran to everybody. Uh, as a social directory, I would uh, say as a for this year, like 2020, as a COVID-19, as soon as it go away from us, inshallah, I will try to do my best to start halaqa and community socializing and other uh, events for the community, inshallah. And I will continue my support as the ISAC as what they do for the community like COVID-19 or other stuff. I fully support them, ISAC. And inshallah, I will always available for the any like any stuff for the masjid, for the ISAC, inshallah. And I am honored to be one of you, like ISAC member. Uh, that's all, brothers. That's all. I can't talk much, but inshallah, I will try to do my best for the community, inshallah, this coming year, 2021. It's not the three minutes, but shorter, but I will try to do my best in uh, practice, not by the word. Jazakallah, brother, up to three minutes. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we have one nominee for Director of Finance, uh, Brother Isam Halawi, who is, who is serving this role uh, currently. The Director of Finance shall be the treasurer of the society and as such shall be responsible for the formulation of an endowment strategy, the preparation of the annual budget of the society for presentation to the Board of Directors and the bookkeeping and recording of the finances, funds, and accounts of the society. He shall present the society's financial statements at each meeting of the board of directors. He shall keep a list of active paid members of the society and convey the same information to the secretary. He shall have the right to make payments and sign checks on behalf of the society in his absence, the board of directors shall appoint a temporary replacement as necessary. Uh, Brother Isam, please share your three minute presentation with the ISAC members. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. Allahumma shahari sadri wa yassalli anli wa ahla wa ahla wa ahla wa ahla wa ahla First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for this gathering and jazakumullah wa khairan for all the efforts. Uh, second of all, I would like to, uh, for the few those who don't know me, I have been in this community since 1989. I used to live in the as a matter of fact. I used to be ISAC by Akron University. I lived there, I've been, I've been native to Akron for the past 30 years, graduated from Akron University with finance and uh, business management degrees. And I have owned and operated a chain of restaurants in the area for the past 20 some years. Also, with my finance degree, I have been an oil trader for about 11 years, all in total. Uh, I wanted to serve ISAC uh, for numerous times, but I only had the chance past term to really uh, insert myself and accept the nomination and was able to become part of ISAC. Alhamdulillah, um, you know, everything went fine for the past two years, but my premise was initially the reason I would also moved to ISAC and served was really to build the bridge like Brother Mas'ud has equipped upon for our generation, for the new generation, for the future. And what Brother Uthman has mentioned also is Islam is here to stay. And Islam is here uh, to rise and grow, inshallah. And we are worried, not worried about ourselves, but we are worried about our children's 
from a grand chance to become and stay Muslim and maintain their identity as Muslim in this community. And that's only can be done with really creating the right platform and progressive leadership as we are doing it now, alhamdulillah. Um, so far would be, just to echo brother, uh, uh, brother, uh, 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 what do you say about the financial situation right now, we are, mashallah, alhamdulillah, doing extremely well. Uh, we took, I took over the past two years with $100,000 in the account. Now we are almost $650,000 in the account. And we are operating very efficiently and productively and effectively. Uh, moving on to word, uh, also we were able to achieve a couple things, which is very important. We were able to uh, sustain and maintain uh, total accounting sovereignty. Uh, we had uh, some hodgepodge of accounting issues, and we were able to maintain and move on, transfer those issues from non-compliance with the IRS to 100% compliance with GAAP, generally accepted uh, accounting principles. Now we produce financial reporting, on a monthly basis that's really in sync with the expectation and the rulings of the IRS, alhamdulillah. Also, we were able to maintain uh, uh, get full accounting uh, processes in place. We also, all the systems inside our uh, AD's office, I was able to take over and uh, revamp and uh, remap it correctly. So we have total efficiency, total effectiveness, and with total archiving and day in, day out with our systems. Alhamdulillah. And the next two years, and with this progressive leadership we have right now, uh, I think we'll be able to achieve a lot more things in the future and really uh, create a nice platform for growth for years to come for ISAP, inshallah. Jazakallah khair wa barakallah fikri. Jazakallah khair, brother Aysan. Uh, next we have. Uh, one nominee for Director of Education, uh, Brother Dr. Mekki Bayachu, Director of Education shall be responsible for overseeing the society's educational programs, including the society's full-time and part-time schools, and shall serve as the society's representative on the governing board of the full-time school. Now, um, these may need to be edited for in the future bylaws uh, because the full-time school it has pretty much become a, um, uh, an independent entity but this is the what the current bylaws have stated uh, brother dr Mackey, please share your three-minute presentation with the isaac members assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een First of all, I would like to, to start by thanking everyone um, and uh, the people who uh, asked me to continue you know, in this role and for the nomination and the trust that they put in me in the past you know, years and uh, moving forward I would like also to thank uh, all community members, uh, volunteers for the quality work they've been carrying some of them carrying it really in silence you know behind you know doors and um, alhamdulillah you know it, it shines in various aspects although we don't see it so i'd like to thank all of them and all of, you know the, the volunteers uh, they, they all say that you're not uh, an education in you know in professor in, in in profession if you don't share a slide so i will do that let me see if i can share my slide. Uh, Brother Fahim, if you can enable me to share the slide. Try now, Brother Mackey. Jazakallah khair. Do you see the, the slide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I, I wanted to rather, you know, so that I can, you know, limit myself very quickly. I just, you know, wanted to have a visual so that everybody kind of knows uh, uh, Brother Saad did mention uh, the fact that the change that happened with FIA. Alhamdulillah, for all of you who, who know me, I've been, you know, serving this community for quite, you know, some time. I've been, you know, synonymous with education. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let me go back here. Is it shared? No. No. 
So uh, I, I wanted to give this visual so to, to, to let everybody know that this education uh, director, uh, do, do you see the slide? Is it shared? Yes. Yes. So uh, the, the education uh, at ISAC used to be uh, basically the education director. It has the purview over FIA, the full-time school, and the educational program in, FIA, in, in, in ISAC. That has changed in the last you know, a couple of years because FIA grew, mashallah, to a very sustained and strong operation that it required its own board. Alhamdulillah, that has been completed and it has its own board day-to-day -day activities in FIA are really going strong and the trajectory is solid. Uh, so that, I will not talk about that. I view this education uh, uh, you know, role here is, is slightly different. And this is why I think that the, uh, the vision and the prospects of education at, at ISAC, the, the portfolio of the educational director need to be uh, kind of a little bit expanded. So I see it really in a three-prong uh, uh, operation there. You see that the pipeline, and that is really what, you know, anything that is educational for, you know, the youth or uh, before, you know, the, you know for the, 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 uh, the, the young in, in the society. And that is, the, you know, the Sunday school, the youth program and all of that. Working on that educational programs, developing really targeted educational programs that are based on needs of the society. So that is really uh, something what, you know, th th that I see, you know, the educational director need really to, uh, to, to, to focus on. And then you have also the faith and religious program, FNR programs. And that is, you know, uh, Alhamdulillah, the, our, our Imam uh, Abdul Karim Sikta developed a number of programs for, you know, for, you know, uh, al Jazari program and Quran programs and, and the halaqas and all of that. But all of those, although they are really separated and, you know, kind of, uh, you know, pushed forward by, you know, by the, uh, the, 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 you know, the leadership of uh, Imam Sikta and, and others, I still see them really under the purview of the educational director and really the strategic portion of that, where they should go, what they should target is really something that, that the educational director need to, to be uh, in touch with and, uh, you know, shape uh, moving forward. The other piece that is really very, very important, and so far I think we are, we, it's a vacuum. And that is really uh, because we all say that, you know, why people don't serve, why there is no, there is vacuum in leadership. The answer is because we don't have programs for that. We don't have a purposeful, dedicated program that nurtures and grow leaders in our community. And it has to change. So we should really focus on developing programs to cultivate leadership and, and, and also to engage the community to make sure that they are engaged in civics. Uh, believe it or not, I mean, I was shocked, you know, at the level, the number of people in our community who are not really engaged in civics, whether in our society or outside you know, in, in, in voting and democratic processes. And that reflects also in our baggage and what we carry about the moment we go inside the society, uh, somehow the democratic processes don't matter and we have to just, you know, shove them under the rug and, and all of that. That is because we don't have educational program in leadership and also in civics that really culture and nurture this idea that democratic processes matter. And this is how we should engage in the community, within the community and outside. So I feel that that is part of the portfolio of the educational director. Inshallah, inshallah, I will dedicate part of my time to actually look at areas how we can develop this type of programs for the benefits of the education and also professional development in general. Uh, I will be calling also in a summit, a uh, summit for, for education. It's been quite some time that we didn't have one. So we'll have a summit for education to really look forward in the next, you know, 15, 20 years, where do we want education? Where do we want ISAC education, uh, you know, to be? So inshallah, these are really the, you know, uh, headlines that I would like to focus on now that FIA is out of my purview. Uh, inshallah, we will uh, expand the portfolio uh, for uh, for the educational for the education director, uh, and uh, I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to help us uh, continue uh, this upward trajectory 
and I will ask also for your help and support in carrying out this very, very important task. Jazakumullahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakumullahu khair, brother Dr. Mekki. Uh, we have one nominee for Director of Community Welfare, as uh, Brother Salim Bahzad. Um, I hope I uh, pronounced your last name correctly. Um, Director of Community Welfare shall promote volunteerism among members of the society regarding society activities, shall be responsible for developing and implementing programs that identify and address matters of community welfare within the society, and shall be responsible for communicating those concerns to and seeking support for those programs from the board of directors, and shall be in charge of the society's cemetery. Uh, Brother Salim, please share your three minute presentation with the ISAC members. Jazakallah khair, Brother Saad, and you are, you are bang on. You pronounced it absolutely correct. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, and Jazakallah khair uh, for all of you who joined in today for the meeting. And, and thank you for nominating me for the Director of uh, Community Welfare. A brief introduction about me for those who are not familiar with me. Uh, as Brother Saad said, uh, my name is Fahadzad Salim, and I've been living in the community for, for quite some years now. Uh, with my wife and two kids, and I'm blessed that you know I have my mother who also lives uh, with us. I work at uh, Goodyear of our entire company, and uh, previously I have worked for many uh, Fortune 100 companies and uh, managed large global teams and led uh, many multi-million dollar IT-led uh, transformational projects. Um, I was fortunate to travel uh, around the world and experience you know various cultures and uh, community. And I'm very humbled uh, that some of you have considered me uh, for this role to serve the community. Uh, no, I'm not new to the community, but uh, uh, I will be new to the role of the community welfare. And based on what I have learned so far, uh, I wanted to just talk to you guys about you know, the vision uh, for this area in three categories. Please note that as I interact more with the community leaders and learn more, we will improvise uh, my, the vision over the consultation of the board, uh, go ahead with this uh, position. So the first area would be the funeral services. Uh, firstly, I'm very proud of the work that has been done in the funeral services area. Uh, as many of you guys know, we're the first Islamic uh, certified funeral home in the state of Ohio offering end-to-end -end services. The work that Brother Ramzi, Brother Azam, Brother uh, Ahmed Chan have done um, and doing with the support of the word is phenomenal. Um, now, there are some areas where I will help in uh, to streamline the process even better, uh, consulting with the brothers who I just mentioned about. And secondly, I would look into, you know, marketing our services to the community at large uh, to make sure many of our other community members are aware and also get benefited from the service that we have. The second area that I'll be looking into would be the refugee support. Uh, again, some great work has been done in over here led by you know, Brother uh, Mahmoud Surma and Brother Khaldun, and they're doing some uh, great work uh, to help our refugee families, provide support, and help them transition into our community. And as you know, uh, we have alluded earlier, there's been a lot of influx of our refugee brothers and sisters, uh, and you know, where the support fundamental needs are being met today. Now, I will continue to empower the team and I plan to collaborate with organizations with similar goals with ours as, a, as far as refugee support are concerned. For example, the Akron International uh, Institute who does some similar work as well. So I'll leverage to see if we can get engaged in the community um, uh, with those organizations and you know, get benefited from both ends and you know, support the refugees as much as we can. Uh, now the third and final area uh, of the vision that I'll be looking into would be the, the food pantry and the soup kitchen. Uh, the fact that we have a program like this tells us that we, you as a community, care for each other and the needy. Uh, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless, you know, Brother Walid, Nadir John, you know, Brother Ashraf, and others who have organized a food pantry uh, a few months back with the outpouring support of you guys. You know, you have been helping us uh, do that. And I will support to ensure that we continue doing such initiatives in the future of, you know, like food pantry and soup kitchen 
And well, I look for more ways to serve the homeless, the needy, the poor, not only in our Islamic community, but overall in, our, in, in general community as well. And we'll look into you know, collaborating with the uh, Akron Food Bank uh, to see if there are synergies uh, that can be tapped into to you know, support them and us as well. Finally, I'm here to serve you, the community. Uh, yes, my primary area of responsibility is going to be community welfare, but I'm happy to support the board and other directors wherever I can, inshallah. Again, Jazakallah khair for, for listening and I look forward to your support. Back to you, brother. Uh, Jazakallah khair, brother Salim.